Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Kumusta man ta karon nga kagabhion? Hinaot ana kita sa maayong panlawas ug malipayon uban sa tibuok natong pamilya. Akong ipaabot ang usa ka mainitong pagtimbaya kaninyong tanan gikan sa kaumahan sa atong Northern Davao Mission. And we praise the Lord for giving us this very wonderful opportunity where we can talk and discuss things which will help us grow love in our family, strengthen family relationship, which will help us build a happy family. And so, welcome to the 12th night of our Empowering the Family for Time and for Eternity. Our topic tonight talks about life, how life begins, and we as procreators of God. Sweetheart, I'm pregnant, the miracle of procreation. So let us examine the line, Sweetheart, I'm pregnant. In your situation now, does this line bring you happiness, joy, excitement? Is this a blessing for you? Or nagdalahin noon ka na to o kagool, kahadlo, kabalaka? But whatever it is, pregnancy is an evidence that we are procreators of God. Pregnancy shows the miracle of procreation. In Genesis 21 verse 1, it says, Og si Jehovah miduaw kang Sara, sumala sa gisulti niya, o gibuhat niya kang Sara, sumala sa iyang gipamulong. Og nanamkon si Sara, og nag-anak siya sa usa ka anak nga lalaki kang Abraham, sa tigulang na siya. Niadtong panahon nga gitagal nga gisulti sa Dios kaniya. Here, we can remember nga si Sara sa taas nga katuigan sa ilang pag-uban ni Abraham, isip magtiayon, wala na buntis. But again, Nothing is impossible with God. At the age of 89, Sarah bore a child as what God had promised them. Kinsa gani ang anak ni Sarah o Abraham? Yes, tama, si Isaac. The amazing yet amusing story of Sarah's conception. At 99 years old, Abraham continued to enjoy sexual intimacy with his wife, Sarah, who was 89 years old. And we can read this in Genesis 21, verses 1 to 6. Mangang hata nga medyo mahimuot na sa ilang katigulangon, they still have and enjoy the sexual intimacy. Here, it shows that sex or sexual intimacy is important in the lives of married couple. Before tamo proceeds sa unahan, let us emphasize these important points sa atong mga kabatanunan, labi na sa atong kapanahunan karon. That sex should be done inside marriage only. Meaning, para lang ni sa mga magdiayon na kasal na. Dili ni pwede himuon, gawas sa kaminyoon. Labi na kaninyo ng mga kabatanunan. Nowadays, the word sex is very much abused. Giabuso na siya kaayo. Why? Because many are doing it. Many are practicing it just for fun for pleasure, for experience, even outside marriage and outside love. Let us remember, sex is a gift from God for married couple only. Therefore, it is sacred. My professor in my philosophy class once said, majority doesn't change morality, meaning It doesn't mean nga maumay gihimo sa kadaghanan, maumay uso 
bisag mali morally, okay na. Tama na ni. Maupod akong buhaton. Mga igsuon, let us remember, let us bear in mind that any action or decision against the teachings of Christ remains to be wrong and immoral in the eyes of God. Now, there are two reasons why God gave humans the sexual experience. First, sex is for bonding. Again, para lang sa mga magtiayon o minyo lang. Ang pakighilawas, makapasuod sa relasyon, tali sa bana o asawa. In Genesis 2 verse 24, it says, Tungod ni ini ang lalaki magabiya sa iyang amahan o sa iyang inahan o muipon siya sa iyang asawa o sila mahimong usa kaunod. So, sex is important in the lives of married couples as it keeps the couple bonded with each other. Kini makapasuod sa relasyon sa bana o asawa. According to a study, a certain hormone is released during sexual interaction and that hormone is called oxytocin. That rush of oxytocin can boost emotion like love, affection, and euphoria. What is this euphoria? Euphoria is a feeling of great happiness and excitement. Remember, mga magtiayon, the marriage vows we exchanged during our wedding day? We promise to have each other, to care for each other, to protect each other in sickness and in health until death do us part. Let us remember the warmth and the love of these words. That is why we should not mistreat each other. Ang asawa, kinahanglan mo respeto o muatiman sa iyang bana. Same is true sa bana. Ang bana, mo respeto, mo mahal o dili magdagmal sa iyang asawa. So, keep the love burning and growing. Second, sex is for procreation. Alang sa Pagpasanay. In Genesis 1 verse 28, O gipanalanginan sila sa Diyos, O miingon ang Diyos kanila, Sumanay, O dumaghan ka mo, O punon ninyo ang yuta, O magagahom ka mo ni ini, O magbaton ka mo sa pagbulutan sa ibabaw sa mga isda sa dagat, O sa mga langgam sa kalangitan, Og ibabaw sa tanan nga binuhat, nga buhi, nga nagalihok sa ibabaw sa yuta. It is really very clear that God wants us to multiply and have dominion in all His creatures. But, multiply here denotes responsibility, meaning responsible multiplication. Dili pudta mga nak og daghan kaayo kung di nato makaya. Dili pudta mo engage into sexual relationship kung wala pa sa panahon. Huna huna on jud ang mga possible outcomes sa tanang butang nga atong himuon. When the news sweetheart I'm pregnant is broken, there are two reactions. The first reaction, it is a bad news o dautan nga balita for unmarried couples. Nga naman, maybe because they are not yet ready. They still have priorities in life. Next, it is a bad news for married couples not wanting to have another baby. Maybe because They already have children and don't want another one because it is an additional burden, additional expenses, 
and additional responsibility. The second reaction is, it is a good news. Good news for married couples who have been wishing and waiting for a child. It is good, or it is a good news for couples who have longing for a child, waiting for a child. This is not just a good news to them, but a great blessing. Daw unsa kamalipayon sa mga magtiayon, nga dugay na nagpaabot og anak, and then God blessed them finally with a child. Bringing up a child is one of the greatest privilege given by God to humans. Creation belongs only to God. Allowing man and woman in procreation is a rare privilege and opportunity. Kadako di ay sa pribilihiyo nga gihatag sa ginoo ka nato nga mamahimo kitang procreators. Usa kadakong panalangin ang pagkabaton og anak. Apan sa wala pa nakabaton og anak, just wait, keep on praying because nothing is impossible with God. Remember, even if we are procreators of God, still creation belongs to God. Therefore, there is great responsibility in child rearing and parenting. That is why kitang mga ginikanan, dako jud ang atong responsibilidad sa atong mga anak. Tulubago nato na sila sa ginoo, kay gihatag o gisalig na sila kanato sa Dios. Dili lang sa pag-provide sa ilang mga basic needs apan labaw sa tanan, it is our main responsibility to let them know God, to worship God, to serve God, and to love God. How does conception take place? Sa unsang paagi ang pagsabak mahitabo? Review ta sa atong science lesson kaniadto on the parts of the female reproductive system. So what are the parts of the female reproductive system? Yes, we have the vagina, the cervix, the endometrium, the uterus, the fallopian tube, and the ovary. So once a month, an ovary releases an ovum or egg. Sa usa o sa matagbulan, ang taguangkan mo pagawas o usa ka itlog. The egg travels slowly along the fallopian tube waiting a sperm. Ang itlog mo hinay pagbiyahe subay sa tubo or fallopian tube o naghulat sa sperm mo or sperm. In preparation for fertilization, there is a build-up of blood in the uterus. If no fertilization, the blood is discharged, causing menstruation or the period. Kung walay pagsamkon or kung walay fertilization nga mahitabo, ang dugo ipagawas, maoy hinungdan sa gitawag og regla. Sa panahon sa pakighilawas, ang lalaki mo pagawas og similya nga naglangkob og minilyon ka mga sperms. Ang mga sperms mo biyahe subay sa tubo or fallopian tube paingon sa taguangkan nga nagpangita sa itlog. If the timing is right, a strong sperm meets the ovum and fertilizes it. The fertilized egg journeys to the womb and make it bed. Ang napatambok na itlog mo adto sa taguangkan o didto mo pahiluna. Nagkinahanglan og dugo maunga ang binulan nga regla mahunong. Conception has occurred. A new life has begun. So nagsugod na ang pagsabak o usa ka bagong kinabuhi nagsugod sa pagkinabuhi. It is a miracle. Usagayod kini ka milagro. What is the size of the female egg? Kabalo ba mo ni Ana? A female egg is smaller than a dot. Perting gamaya. Truly, it is a miracle. Unsa pud ang length sa male nga sperm? Mubo rapud kaayo siya nga dili gani makita sa ato ang naked eye. Unsa ka kahibulungan? Psalms 100 verse 3 it says, 
Ilhon ninyo nga si Jehovah, siya mao ang Diyos. Siya mao ang nagbuhat kanato. Ug kita mga iyaman, kita mao ang katawhan niya. Ug ang mga karnero sa iyang sibsibanan. The growing fetus, ang pagtubo sa fetus. For nine months, the fetus develops within the womb or the uterus. Before conception, it is about the size of a pear, weighing two to three ounces. It can hold just two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of fluid. During pregnancy, it becomes longer, wider, and thicker, enlarging to 20 times its original size. Within four to six weeks after childbirth, it decreases, shrinking to its original size. Its capacity now increases 100-fold to a, to a gallon of fluid. Here we can see the placenta that connects the baby to its mother by the umbilical cord. It supplies the fetus with air and nourishment while removing its waste. The amniotic sac. This is the bag of antiseptic water that provides safety for the movement of the fetus. Here we can see the placenta in the maternal side, the placenta in the fetal side, the fetus, the water bag, the umbilical cord. The fetus starts to descend usually head first. So kasagaran, muuna jud ang ulo. The bones of the infant's skull overlap to reduce the size of the baby's head. The newborn takes its first breath, setting its system into motion. The umbilical cord is cut and tied, and the placenta or afterbirth is expelled. And then a child is born. The baby cries. Muhilak dayon ang bata, but the mother smiles. What a wonderful and a miraculous process. Really amazing. Mga igsuon, though we are procreators of God, having the ability to bear life, let us always remember the breath of life does not come from us. It's from God. We just become instrument to bring that life in us. But still, it is God who made that life possible for us. Nindot kaayo pamalandungon, nga kita jod ang gipili sa ginoo aron magdala ni anang kinabuhi sa atong sabakan. But then again, we have to prepare ourselves. We have to be ready because that life demands great responsibility. Sa katapusan, mga ginikanan, ipadayo nato ang pag-amuma o pagmahal sa atong mga anak. Tultulan nato sila sa dalan padulong sa ginoo. Mga anak, pagpasakop kamo sa inyong mga ginikanan. Tahura o tumana ninyo ang inyong mga ginikanan kay gasa sila kaninyo gikan sa atong Dios. May God's blessings of love, peace, joy, good health and protection be poured out in our respective families. God bless us all.